So, here we are. It's uh, Wednesday night, and uh, last week I promised you guys that we were going to be uh, checking out Splatterhouse, which is uh, the game that we're going to be playing for the for tonight. Um, unfortunately, when I made that plan, I didn't realize that I didn't have the uh, correct uh, AV cables uh, for Splatterhouse. I thought that I had composite cables for the Wii. I mean, who doesn't have, you know, yellow, red, white cables for their Wii? It's like probably what everybody has. But for whatever reason, uh, I don't have them here. So I don't know. Uh, so I had to buy some. And because I didn't have them last week, I was uh, forced to put everyone through uh, me tragically playing uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica, which is a fantastic game. But uh, because of the uh, rapid turnaround time, I, I hadn't been able to practice it or anything like that. And uh, I was really not doing very good at it. And, you know, to be honest with you, I don't think that I'm going to be doing much better at Splatterhouse. Splatterhouse is a very simple game, but it's very hard uh, for somebody who does not have fast twitch reflexes like myself. Uh, as anyone knows, I'm, uh, you know, more of a laid back gamer. You know, I like a good round of uh, Marvel Puzzle Quest or uh, maybe some nice, you know, Dr. Mario or something like that. But uh, these kinds of platforming affairs are sometimes a little more difficult for me to, uh, you know, wrap my head around. But before we begin, for reals. Let's start things off like we always do here on Technohead's Retro Game Stream. And of course, you know what I mean by that. I mean shout outs. All right. So let's let's walk them down the list. All right. Number one, before anybody, I gotta give a huge shout out to uh my number one fan in the world, my beautiful, fantastic, wonderful wife, LA. Dead Red, she's in the house. She's in the chat right now. Thanks, honey. I wouldn't be able to do it without you. You know, you are the uh, the composite cable to my heart. I wouldn't be able to work without you. And, you know, I appreciate that. Um, of course, uh, I would be remiss if I didn't pay fealty to the world's greatest destiny clan of all time. Of course, I'm talking about the OK clan. I don't know if any of them are in here. I've been spamming their uh, Discord channel all day. So, you know, they're you know, are they into retro games? I I don't really know. I I I I don't, but I'm hoping that they're here. So, okay, clan, you know, big ups. Uh every corn stream, I got to pause, you know, get down on my knees and say a big thanks to uh paid shill or shill account. I'm sorry, shill account, aka PK uh, for providing the video capture equipment that I use for uh, these retro game Corrin streams. So thank you very much, Patrick. Uh, you've been very helpful to me, um, and I appreciate that. We got Tune in the house, always the first one in the comments. My good buddy, Jason, he's a great guy. He's going to come up later. I have a little show and tell for you guys, but we're, gonna, we're not going to get into that just yet. We're going to keep going down the list. Let's see who else is here. We got we got uh, Andrew K. Herman, the Texas kid, is back in the house. Look at this. Now let me tell you something about him, okay? Herman is a guy that I worked with at THQ way back in the day. The guy has a, an eye, you know, he's eagle-eyed. He's got a mind like a steel trap. No bugs were getting past him. The guy was a was an asset to the company, you know, and uh, I think. They were proud to have him, but now he's he's pivoted, and uh, he's working in the in the arts. Um, he's a he's a fine artist, uh, makes drawings. Uh, so look him up on Instagram. I don't I don't know if his Instagram is the same as his uh, his handle here, but get in the comments, Herman, and give him your Instagram handle so they can go buy uh, you know comic book drawings of you know half naked ladies or whatever it is you're working on, you know. And uh, what else? We got Yangus Prime, some of my BB bros in the house. I love it. You know, I do this stream so that I can share my passions with you guys. And hopefully I can um, bring us a little bit closer together in these sort of scary times that we're living in, provide a little history, and you guys can all watch me suck at playing 
retro games, you know, so that that'll be like pretty nice. Uh, you know, hey, Silver Drill is here, you know. Big ups to Silver Drill. The chat is already going off. That's what I like to see, you know. I'm certainly not suggesting that Patrick did not find more bugs than Herman. Um, but what I am suggesting is that he just he had an ability to um you know uh find high quality bugs, I guess. I actually don't really know. Maybe Herman was not a very good tester. I don't I don't really know. He was just my buddy, so I didn't really pay that much attention, you know. Now um you know, as usual, you guys are you guys are used to me starting off these streams and being extremely way off topic, which is already happening. Uh, uh, to be honest with you, I'm stalling because I know that once I start playing this game, you guys are going to be teasing me mercilessly because I'm going to do horrible at it. You can see here in the attract screen how this person that's playing this game right now, uh, it just sucks. He runs into things. He doesn't jump. He barely does anything. And, and that's going to be a lot like what it's going to be like when I'm playing this game, you know, I'm going to be, uh, you know, not shooting the dro the dogs and basically getting killed left and right. Um, so, well, you know, we'll see, we may not even get to this level with the shotgun. I have gotten that far in my life, uh, but I haven't gotten past the boss of that. No, I have. Okay. I've gone to the next level after that, but you know, whatever we'll, we're going to see there's seven levels, you know, we're going to take it as it comes. Maybe we get through it. Maybe we just have a good time doing it. That's all anybody could ask, you know? Ah, it's very cold in the Geek Cave today, just so everybody knows. It's uh, chilly, and it's not, not that well insulated, you know? So I got the space heater on, but not too loud, because I don't want everybody to hear the, you know, rattling of the space heater. So it's just a little little pinch of space heater. Maybe I'll just turn it up just a little bit. Just, a, just one... One little click. We'll see if that ruins the uh, the audio or not, you know. And uh, yeah, wow, look, boy, this is really going up. Watch it, techno head. You know what did I what did I say? You found more bugs than me. What? Did, oh man, I'm already in trouble. Uh, yeah, to answer Silver Drill's question, this isn't really a guest house. This is like this kind of it's it it doesn't because it doesn't have like a bathroom or anything like that, but. When we moved in here, the lady that lived here before us was like an author, and so this was sort of her fortress of solitude where she would come in and, and write her novels or whatever. And um, the house we have has bed, plenty of bedrooms and stuff like that, so um, I, I've always kind of had a space in every house where I've filled it up with like retro games and stuff. And probably one of these streams, I'll take everybody on a tour of all the crap that I have. Um, but I wanted to have an area where I could have people hang out. I've got a really nice couch. I got the TV. You know, the idea is like, you know, we have a nice barbecue. Everybody comes over. We play some splatter house, whatever it is. We're having, everybody's having a good time, you know. So for people that knew me back in the day, like your Hermans and your PKs, you know, when we lived on Hazeltine, we had a room in the back uh, that was kind of an extra bedroom. And that's where we put all the crap. So you know, it's not really, I mean, somebody could stay in here, but it's, it's, we have other rooms in the house that if anybody came to visit me, they would be staying there. This would be like if we had Thanksgiving and several people were already staying in the house, this is where maybe I'd stick my nephews or something like that, you know. Speaking of which, those nephews, you know, get them on here, you know. They got to be, I got to be educating them, you know, forget it. All right. So now we've BSed around for 11 minutes. We're really stalling. This is great. So let's talk about Splatterhouse, okay? You know? Yeah, or, yeah. as Rob is noticing, the guy that's playing the attract screen sucks. But don't get your hopes up because when I actually start playing, it's not going to be that much better, okay? So I'm just going to tell you that right now, and I hope that you can all appreciate that, you know? Um, Splatterhouse came out in... I think in 1990, like 1989 or 1990, uh, it was originally a Turbo Graphic 16, or as it's known in Japan, PC Engine game, and um, or no, I'm sorry, it was originally an arcade game, and uh, then it was ported to the, like the PC Engine and the FM Towns Marty, and eventually there was even a Mega Drive 
cart, but it's like $200. So if someday I ever happen to get one, I will play it for you. Um, but look, I've talked so long that it's gone into like sleep mode. I'll play it for you. But in the meantime, uh, we're going to play the TurboGrafx-16 version. I do not have a TurboGrafx-16. I'll be 100% honest with you. You know I'm dedicated to playing on the original hardware. That's very important to me. Uh, but I don't have a TurboGrafx-16. But what I do have is an old Wii, and I have a bunch of virtual console games, so I'll probably mine that for some content in the future. And on the virtual console, I have a copy of uh, Splatterhouse. So this is not... Uh, ROM. This is not an emulator. It's on the Virtual Console, which, in my opinion, had a very good emulator for the Turbo Graphics 16, um, and I paid for it. So this is a game I purchased. All right. So I don't want to any accusations of me, you know, sailing the high seas or uh, having a parrot on one shoulder or anything like that. This is a serious, serious purchase. I support the game industry, and if. Uh, Whoever owns these games now, I guess Namco would own Splatterhouse, wants to put them out again on XBLA or whatever, hey, I'll buy it, okay? So there you go. So this game came out on TurboGrafx-16, and it is kind of a pastiche of 80s slasher horror movies. Uh, obviously, there's like a Friday the 13th reference because the guy looks like Jason Voorhees, the main character. But there's also like a lot of like HP Lovecraft stuff. Like there's some kind of fish people, and and it's sort of about like an ancient um, evil that's like that's transforming people into like mutants and stuff like that. And uh, there's a lot of kind of like birth, you know. There's like fe fetuses and and that. So it's kind of like body horror and stuff like that. It's 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 very. Um, of a time that it came out, like stuff that was coming out in the, in that time, like stuff like the reanimator or something like that, that was like kind of a gross out horror sort of take on Lovecraftian themes. Um, when it came to the consoles, it was kind of toned down a little bit. Like there's, there's kind of less blood and like the enemies sort of ooze like, um, slime or ectoplasm or whatever they don't bleed it's sort of similar to what happened to mortal Kombat. but famously the cover of the turbo graphics 16 game had a big warning on the front like a child's warning and it, it said like uh this game has you know intense horrific graphics not suitable for children or cowards you know it was kind of taking like a wwe stance on the scariness of the game you know like you had to be a real man to play splatterhouse and when i was a kid i had a buddy uh when i was in junior high school which was about like nine, 1990 91 or so that had a turbo graphics 16 and this guy was like a big metal head and like he had like you know mega death shirts and all this stuff that scared me as a kid because i was a very uh, kind of sheltered kid. My parents didn't let me watch horror movies or anything. And I remember one night spending the night at his house and we played this game. And like, there's something about the sounds in this game that are very freaky to me. I don't know why that's kind of the low fidelity of them. Uh, and I just remember feeling like we were really breaking the law. Like we were really doing something that we should not be doing, playing this terrible game and like rotting our minds. And, um, so now I'm going to, you know, let you guys witness that as well. And we'll all rot our minds together. Uh, and as I come up to them, I'll, I'll mention things maybe that changed between the uh, arcade version and the TurboGrafx-16 version. But before I do that, let me just check in on the chat here and see if I'm missing any hot tidbits of chat stuff. All right. So let's see. Uh, OK, uh, L.A. Red Dead's logging off. That's fine. Uh, the Turbo Graphics is apparently hard to obtain. It's not hard to obtain if you have the money. I mean, it's uh, not impossible to get one, especially if you go to Japan. They're a lot less expensive there. I see Joe B's in the chat. Hey, Joe B, what's up? Joe B is my buddy from Montreal, from the from the THQ Montreal slash Ubisoft Montreal days. He's uh, was a very close chum to me, and he and his wife made Becca and I feel extremely welcome when we lived in Canada. 
and he's the epitome of what you think of when you think of a nice Canadian. He's a very nice guy. He's a huge Nintendo fan. When he was a kid, he worked at, I think, Videotron or somewhere like that, and he one night took home a box of used Nintendos that they were clearing out. They weren't going to sell anymore, and so in one room in his house, he basically has a pile, like a literal pile of Nintendo Entertainment Systems. I don't know if he still has that because he since had kids, so the kids maybe have taken over that room. But at one point when I knew him, he had a very impressive collection just of Nintendo consoles. It was pretty amazing, you know? So so big ups to Joe. Thanks for coming in the, to chat tonight. I know you're busy. You're a family man, you know, and I appreciate it. Let's see, who else? What, what else we got here, you know? Uh, Dunnett is in here, of course. So we, we already were talking to him about the room and everything like that. And, uh, yeah, I guess now we're chatting. Bracktoon's getting impatient for me. Um, and he, now he's bragging about the fact that he's been to Super Potato and Akihabara, uh, which is like one of my ultimate fantasies. You know, some guys have fantasies about, I don't know, uh, dating Cindy Crawford or something like that. I have a fantasy about going to Japan just to go retro game shopping, like not eating any, eating any ramen, not seeing any old temples, not uh, riding a bullet train, just going to the dusty old video game shops and buying a bunch of cheap video games. But as long as we're on the subject of that, uh, I have so... The second game in the Splatterhouse series came out on the Super Nintendo in Japan, which, of course, Jason will tell you the Super uh, Nintendo in Japan was called the Super Famicom. I mean, to him, that's it's the most basic thing that he would just tell you that right away. And when he was in Japan, I asked him to track down a copy of a game called Splatterhouse Wanpaki Graffiti, which I don't speak Japanese, but my understanding is that means Splatterhouse Naughty Graffiti. And it's, uh, it's right here. Look at that. Here, let me get that in frame. Ooh, baby. You know? So my buddy Jason picked that up for me. I, I don't know if this came from Super Potato or not, but it was 1,280 yen, which I think is 12 bucks. I think. I hope it is. And um, this is not boilerplate info. This is de These are deep cuts, all right? Wampaki Graffiti is a super deformed, extra cute Japanese version of uh, Splatterhouse where everybody has big heads and like you fight Dracula and all this crazy stuff. It was the only game like that in the series. And then when it came to like the Genesis uh, for Splatterhouse 2 and 3, it went back to the style of Splatterhouse 1 with like lots of blood and gore and killing and everything like that. So, um, you know, so that's a brief history of Splatterhouse. We're checked in with the chat. Uh, ooh, who's the lead designer of this game? I don't know that off the top of my head. It was at Namco. And it was in the late 80s. So uh, I'm hard-pressed to think of another Namco game that came out in the arcades other than uh, Soul Calibur, you know, past Pac-Man and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I, this is the kind of information I should start having like pop-ups and stuff where I can really be doing like a broadcast thing where I'm like, oh, it was this guy. And then, you know, th throw a thing. You'll see his face. It'll bounce around. Maybe we'll get some animation. But for the time being, I don't have that information. You can look that up on Wikipedia. And I invite you to do that because, uh, you know, knowledge is power. And honestly, with everything going on, it's better that you spend less time focusing on social media and more time reading about classic games on Wikipedia and saving up the money, Rob, to buy a TurboGrafx-16, all right? So is everybody ready? We're going to press the run button. We're going to get started. I've got my Wiimote right, right here, all right? So we're, gonna, we're getting ready to do this. And when I do that, we're going to hear some music. So uh, you can, oh, uh, well, I guess I can talk about it while it happens. So here we go. Pressing the run button now. All right, so this mansion is called the West Mansion, which is a reference to Dr. Herbert West from Reanimator, also from H.P. Lovecraft mythology. Um, and West was apparently in the mythology of the game like an old kind of land baron who died here and, and left his house all boarded up and mysterious. And in the arcade game, uh, 
you see sort of more of an opening cutscene where you see uh, the main character whose name is Rick. And uh, you see Rick. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. How does that sound with the audio? Can you hear everybody hear the music okay and also my voice? If not, let me know. All right. Um, so in, in the arcade game, you see Rick and his girlfriend running. It's a classic girlfriend gets kidnapped uh, video game story. So the girlfriend gets kidnapped by this evil demon that kind of looks like a, um, he looks like an anime character. But off the top of my head, now I can't remember what anime character. But we'll see him. He's oh, he kind of looks like uh, like a Dragon Ball Z character, sort of mixed with like an alien from Aliens. And um, as he's running along, he like trips. Rick trips, and then this mask appears and says, "I'll help you recapture your girlfriend. Just put me on, and I'll you know say you know we can save her together." But you know this is kind of a Faustian deal that he's about to make. So he puts it on. He becomes super buff. You know, this is him, and he has he, he gains the powers of punching. Okay, look at that. And he gains the power of doing like a low kick and then a jump kick, you know? Ba blam! Ba blam! All right, and that's uh that's pretty much it. He he does not play hockey. Obviously, hockey masks were a trope in horror films at the time, and when this game came out in arcades, he had a white hockey mask, and they changed it to this sort of like magenta hockey mask that we see before us now um, for the game so that it would be less litiginous as they say so um, yeah so the spooky music is playing and we're going to pick up the first weapon in the game which is a 2x4 in the arcade game it was a meat cleaver but they, they changed it to a 2x4 in the uh, home version of the game so let's let's go pick that up all right, so here's some of the revenants you're going to be fighting, and you can see they sort of disappear into a pool of green ectoplasm. They don't bleed. And we're starting out, I think we're in the basement. I think that's where we're supposed to be. So we're going to, we're, we're whacking these dudes, you know, give them a good whacking with the old whacking stick, you know? And then these guys are all tied up. They can't really hurt you, but their barf can hurt you. So you got to kind of like jump the barf. Start whacking, okay? We're whacking. That was a pretty good execution of that. I'm surprised I didn't uh, immediately die. Okay, whacking. Whack that guy. You know, these guys kind of look like pinky demons in Doom. You know? What do you think about that? Is that crazy to say? All right, we're going to get past that. It also kind of has like a feel of the game Chiller. Like it has this kind of like sort of too creepy for a video game feel that thing oh god okay all right my first hit of the game don't worry that'll be the last one all right we got that bat all right we're getting through also these spikes as a kid really reminded me of the ColecoVision game Smurf which I don't know if any of you ever played but uh, Smurf had these like spikes that you had to jump or they were like fences I think uh, but uh, they were very easy to oh here okay so here's the here's the alien guy now maybe I can just can we just climb up? Yeah, forget it. We're not even going to fight them. That's the kind of cowardly approach to this game that we're going to take. Okay, so now i gotta got to get serious here. Okay, we killed that thing. Oh, God. Okay. Now this, okay. All right. Okay. Okay, that one's dead. Come on. Come on. All right, that one's dead. Oh, okay. There's another one. There's another one. Towards the beginning, these, like, boss sections have sort of dumb... You know, you just sit in the corner and low kick. Oh, he got me. You know, as soon as I said that, you know? All right, hold on. Hold steady. And they do little sneaky things like that where they attack you. All right, look at that. First level, crushed. I got four hearts back. Uh, so now listen to how scary that music is. I'm just going to be quiet for a second so you can really appreciate the scariness. I mean, there's just something about it that is haunting, I think. It's just a it's just slightly detuned and it it it's you know, it's just chip tunes, but it definitely evokes a feeling of um inquietude, you know? It's not it's not great, you know? 
You know, that guy's getting down. You know, he's up on the wall, you know. All right, so here we go. We're going to start up again. Mike, we got another sweet... Um, oh, these guys take two hits now. Not with my trusty uh, whacking stick. Whack. Two punches or one punch with the whacking stick. And then there's like a wrench here. You know, you thought Bioshock had the wrench early, right? I think there's like a way that you're supposed to like, oh, forget it. We're not going to take the wrench. The wrench sucks. All right, that guy is going to leave a pool of goo. All right, we're whacking these guys. There's these scary dudes. You know, they look like the ghost host from, uh, you know, Disneyland's Haunted Mansion. And this game, you got to keep in mind that this game came out before Sonic the Hedgehog, you know, I think it came out, it definitely came out before Super Mario Brothers 3. And it just was like, it was just insane. It just felt like, how could this exist? You know, like it seems pretty quaint right now with like the, with the stones and all this kind of stuff. But like, it was crazy. I mean, it just is like a scary ass thing. Okay, this is an auto scrolling level. And it's not too hard, except that there's this part where these like underwater mines come up and you have to like jump them with precision. And I'm just gonna tell you right now, I'm probably not gonna do that very well. So just get ready. Okay, I did that one okay, but there's two that come together. Oh God, oh, no, nope. and then I lost my, come on, okay, I got it again. Okay, all right, we're over it. We're gonna jump back over. Okay, we're gonna jump back over. Okay, great, great. Ugh, okay, kill this guy, kill this guy. Okay, they're dead. Whew, the pressure is on, guys. You know? Come on, come on. I only got two hearts left. This is not good. I don't like this. I'm not feeling comfortable, okay? I'm feeling very uncomfortable with that. The whacking stick has been dropped. Oh, God, okay. Now this is where my most deadly enemy comes. The chair. Oh, see, look, once again, we're just kind of hanging out over here. Everything's fine. The chair's coming. We're going to kick this fucking chair. We're going to kick it. Okay. Come here, you ch freaking chair. I mean, this is terrifying. A, a flying chair? W what's next? You know? A knife flying through the air? Oh, uh. Uh oh, guys. All right, well, I took the chair out. You know, I think we all saw that that was pretty impressive, my moves with the chair, okay? So now, so stuff is all falling, okay, yes. Okay, kick the chair. Kick it again. This damn chair, I'm gonna get you. You know? Ugh. What the f- Okay. All right, I got that one. Yes, I don't jump. No jumping. Just punch the knife. Keep punching. Ugh. Now this fight. All right, now that's the spirit that has my girlfriend. And that was a scary noise, that noise. See, and one more tricky thing that could have killed me, you know? Uh, the chairs, I don't know if the chairs come back, but they are in a later level of the game. But they're not powered up chairs. They're just the same chair. All right, so now we're, we're really getting to the point where um, I I don't know much about if I can beat this game. Oh. We're gonna get the. Oh, okay, we're gonna kick this guy. Now I know from experience that I want to keep this shot a. You know, a smooth operator. Oh, you. Oh shit. Okay, I didn't mean to shoot that guy. <sighs> that was a mistake. Oh. Okay. Now we're going into the underworld. That was also, um, I shouldn't have done that. Now I don't have my, oh boy, this is not good, guys. This is not good. I don't have my shotgun. 
had to do all this jumping. I gotta fight these guys. Look at that guy, he punched me. Just jump this thing. Look at that guy, he punched me again. What the? F Got that guy. Jump that thing. Kick that guy, you know? He's, he goes, fool me once, shame on me, you know? You guys get it. All right, now here's a pit. We're gonna jump over this pit. What the? Kill that guy with that rock. Okay. Okay, that guy's dead. Got another rock. Oh my God! Did you see that? What a. What a. Okay, this is this isn't good. Uh, okay, one heart. One heart left. I don't know. I'm, I don't know about this. All right, so obviously, look at this guy. He's pretty cool. He's got hands that are uh, chainsaws. Now I don't have any weapons, and I'm immediately dead. One slash, you know? One slash. Okay, there we go again. Work. Can we get? Can we please do this? All right, take a rock. Yeah, take that, you bastard. You're not going to spit on me. You know, nobody spits on me. Take some feet, flying feet of doom. Okay, we got this. Okay, miss that. Okay, jump. Get the shotgun. Okay. Now, I have beat this boss before, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I put, I put my entire shotgun round into this guy. All right. We're going to do it. We're doing it. Okay, everybody? Oh, God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. God, get, get one fucking hit in, you fucker. Look at him. Look how cheap he is. Oh, wow. Are you guys tense? I don't, I, I wish there wasn't a quarantine. I could have somebody else just play this game while I was like narrating, you know, because uh, that was hard. So this looks like it says stage 10, but it's actually stage four. Okay, there's one, there's two. Oh, missed that guy. Okay. That could have gone better. Holy crap! Gothi78 is here! Wow, just in time to see me die. Wow. You know? I could play this. It looks, e well, it looks easy, but it's I'll tell you right now, it's not, okay? There's the, look at these worm monsters everywhere. Oh, God. They're coming for me. They're coming for me. Oh. Okay, I killed that one. Okay. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, I hope this game has a continue. I really do. All right, we're out of here. Who, Nelly? Now this this level with um, harpoons and um, fish monsters is, I think, a Shadow of Rensmith reference. Oh my God, these things too. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Let's get serious. Okay. Okay, we're ducking the bat. Oh God. Okay, there's another bat. There's a, there's a bat with a with a perambular attack pattern. <sighs> continue. You're damn right. We're gonna continue. Yes. What the hell? The hell, a baby? You, you, okay, okay, 
Okay, okay. Come on. God. Ridiculous. Let's take that guy out right away. Look at those moves. Didn't give me that time, did you, smarty boys? Okay, we're just gonna come over to this contraption here. Okay, how did I do? Fucking bats. Okay, we killed that bat. Ugh. Took a hit. Did not want to take a hit. We're through. I think there's more of those things though. Oh, this part is good. Okay, so what do you think is gonna happen here? See these mirrors? Look at this. Now this was also pretty impressive for the time. Oh God! Look at him. He's he's killing me. Okay, he took took a lot of took a lot of hits, that guy. Okay? Now we're gonna get him this time. He's not not getting me again, you know? I was too busy talking to you guys about the mirrors. Come on, where is he? Come on, I know he's Oh! <sighs> Oh boy, you know, I I I don't know what to tell you. I'm I'm very I'm disappointed with myself, but I think I think I have it this time. Okay, here we go. Look, he's look at him slide. What? Look at him slide. What what BS is that? How does he slide? How does he slide? Can I slide? Did you see that sweet slide move? Okay, come here. Look at him. Look at him. He's punching. He's kicking me. Oh, what the f... Oh, my God. Ridiculous. These move, this move set is ridiculous. You know? Oh, oh, okay. He's going down this time. He's not getting me. What the f... Oh my God, I'm already using my credits. All right, here we go. Oh my God, it's taking me back here. Forget it, forget it is what I say. Let's just get the hell out of here. You know? Oh, God. <sighs> you guys, I'm very sorry about this, you know? So, obviously, these things are, uh, you know, from Alien. You know, they're the chest bursters. And they're very effective at killing me. What was I, what was I doing? I was taking a look at the wall. All right. I'm going to figure out a better strategy. Okay, the, the jump kick... Oh god, I got it. But I, he's on me. Oh, that's why he was on me. Okay, those two are dead. Missed. Okay, he missed. That guy missed too. You got you got no moves. You don't got nothing. You know. I think I can. I'm starting to understand why other game streamers like just kind of scream nonstop because you know it's a good tension breaker. Oh my god, now these guys. All right. Okay, this thing. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's see. The bats. Here come the bats. Okay. Dead bat. Stupid. Twice? This guy is not killing me this time. <laughs> he killed me. What are the odds of that? What are the odds? Oh, the chat is, uh, let me see. I think I'm in a safe spot here. Let me read through here. Uh, looks like uh, the chat's getting a little sexy over here. You know? Um, so fun, you guys. Ha ha. 
Might as well just use save states on this emulator. Uh, I don't know if that's possible, but or are you saying that I'm not playing it on real hardware? Is that what you're saying? Well, maybe. I don't know. Um, now everybody's talking about Leisure Suit Larry. Um, <laughs> Herman is saying that I was testing the damage-taking potential of games. That's true. Fun stuff, you guys. Fun. Very fun. I'm loving it. All right. Here we go. We're going to do this. We're going to get this guy. We're going to... I wonder... How does he do the... How does he do the drop kick? There must be a way. Jump. Jump. How does he do that? I want to know. I want to know what love is. Oh, you, you mf -er. Did I get him? I think I did. Maybe the key is just to get him super fast when he comes out. You're dead, chump. Try to steal my look? Nah. Only Rick has the mask of power. I really hope there's no more uh, chairs. Oh, okay. So this this level was heavily edited. Oh, God, no. There's, there's enemies coming, so I'm going to have uh, to... Can't do too much jibber-jabber. But it basically takes place in a church, and in the original arcade, there was a cross flying through the air in the middle, and uh, and they edited it to just be a bunch of heads. Oh my god. Am I going to have to go back to the beginning of this level? <sighs> yes. Jeez Louise. Cheese and crackers. Well, if anybody from the OK Clan is watching this, they're, they're not expecting anything less because this is exactly how bad I also am at Destiny. So, you know, at least I'm staying on brand, you know? All right, let's get out of here. Jeez. I got the... There's no way I'm getting to the sword room and everything. Are you kidding me? Not happening. All right, we're gonna get serious. We're staying positive. I'm gonna, oh my God, okay. All right, no problem. This is gonna be the perfect speed run. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh this part with the, the green guys, it's really, I, I, I don't like it. You know? It's not, I feel like it's, uh, it's like a, you know, I'm, I'm going to blame bad game design. PK asked me who the game designer was and whoever it was, they should take that level back to the drawing board, you know? Okay, that thing is gonzo. There's a way to do that by jumping backwards. And that's not it. What I just did is not is not the way to do it, you know? Okay, we're gonna get this guy. Ah! He did the world's cheapest move! That slide move. Ah. Oh, you... What the? A 
That's very frustrating. Okay, everyone? Very, very frustrating. But you can see, like, the hearts. I mean, this game is pretty awesome when you're 12 years old, you know? You're dead, son. You better square up. Square up! Oh. <laughs> well, I guess I made it. Two hearts for the boss fight. We can do it. We can do it. We have the technology. I don't know. Do I even? What am I? Do these guys even attack me? What are they even doing? That guy attacked me. Come on. <laughs> wow. You know? PK shouldn't be allowed back to channel and communicate during streams. Wow. Uh, okay. Um, so we got two credits left. We're going to do it. This is it. This is the time. You guys have seen you see me at my worst, you know? Now see me at my best. Oh, I should have grabbed that. That was a mistake. Kill the, kill the baby thing. I like how they walk out of the doors. You know, oh, you know what? Did Namco do Rolling Thunder? This game is kind of like Rolling Thunder. Maybe it uses similar, like the coming out of the doors and the way that enemies come bunching up at you. I bet you it's I bet you it's similar designers to Rolling Thunder or even like the same hardware, maybe. Rolling Thunder was a hell of a game, but also impossible. I did it! Ha ha! Yay! Did you see that? <laughs> Uh, okay. This time, this guy, he is not, he's not getting me, everybody. It's not happening. We're prepared for him. We know he's coming out. And we're going to, okay. That's right. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I really should have watched more playthroughs of this because I, I'm sure there's like some trick to this guy that I, you know, I just would be like not running right into his fist, for example. But how come they don't give me my two by four, you know? That seems like this guy's signature weapon, you know? Oh well. I'm glad Rob Smash decided to stay. I know last time he bailed pretty soon as soon as he saw it was not Splatterhouse. He doesn't have time for Dreamcast games. You know, it's not his speed. But when it comes to Splatterhouse, he's willing to see you know, these, you know what these guys kind of look like? They kind of look like Mad Balls. Remember Mad Balls? Maybe I'm maybe I'm, I might be a reference that I'm too old. I, you know, Jason might remember Mad Balls. You know? They were those horrible little balls. They had like skulls and stuff. Remember those? You guys gotta remember, right? Okay, there's probably, there's 
probably some pattern to this that I don't know. Okay. Oh. Good news is we made it here with several lives. So let's just take a, let's just, we're going to pause for a second. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to breathe. Okay. Namaste. Namaste to the camera. We're going to just, you know, we're going to be happy that we got this far, you know? Oh, dang. Rob Smash at a, a TurboGrafx-16. Um... This is probably the best game for the TurboGrafx-16, right? Or, I mean, they had, like, Ease was on it. And, uh, of course, you had, like, uh, uh, what was his name? Alex Kidd? Was, or was, no, that was Sega. Who was the TurboGrafx guy? I don't remember. You know? The mascot for the TurboGrafx. Well, it had Hudson games, too. So it had Bomberman. That was probably pretty good. And, um... I think there was like, they, it was also really known for its uh, side scrolling shooters, you know? Uh. Hayden, thanks for coming by the stream. If you do take off, I really appreciate you dropping in and, and watching me fail so hard. <laughs> I appreciate it, you know? Hyperdyne sidearms, that's definitely sounds like a. Uh, Japanese scrolling shooter game, right? I mean, that's what it sounds like to me. All right. Uh, we're going to get this thing started again here. Um, so let's see what we can do. Let's, uh, let's do this. All right. Now this, this music, obviously because of the Gothic setting is, is kind of Castlevania ish. And it does not have the dissonance of some of the other songs in the game, I don't think, anyway. Okay. Come on. This is really just a game about patience and knowing. Because some of these guys, like, disappear. They fly in. They take you out. You know? So it's, it's really kind of an exercise in memorizing this crap. Like that. Well, that's not how to do it. Looks like you probably have to pick your timing and jump and hit him with the thing. That's my guess. And then hit the cross a num number of times. You know, if you take out his Yars Revenge style. What the f...
All right. We took a break. I got two with one slash. Did you see that? That was pretty good. I like that. Let's see if I can do that again. done it like the game for the TurboGrafx-16 that's like a classic uh, just collection of words Japanese game like hyper you know hyper something something you know whatever God. what just continue me at the boss fight all right last credit everybody okay last time you know we're gonna get through this and uh we're gonna see how far we can get you know and that's okay you know it's it's okay to to get to the church level this is this is as far as i've ever gotten in this game so i don't know you know i was worried i wasn't even gonna get this far because it's been a long time since i've played Oh my God, Bonk's Adventure! Yes, that is the game. That's it. That might be a good stream option, Bonk's Adventure. Yes, of course. Jeez, come on. Um. Let's see here. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I'll talk about Castlevania in the chat. That's fine. I, I love Castlevania. I'm probably going to stream a Castlevania game, and I think I'm going to start with Super Castlevania 4, um, just because it's one that I have. Oh, my God. <laughs> How did I do that? That's amazing. Look at that baby thing. That is, I don't like that. And the swamp things, I don't like those either. Just some BS. You. Are you kidding me? No. I wonder if this guy uses like Psycho Mantis, like he knows what buttons you're pressing, and then he, he, that's probably, you know? And how does he do that slide move? That's what I. Can I? Can I do that move? Dang, I'd be doing that move left and right all over the place. Look at that, that slide move. So unfair. It's cheap is what I would say it is. It's, that's like that's like a Dark Souls move right there, you know? I, mean, I, I, I can't block it in fact. Uh, come on. No. Uh-uh. I gotta stay focused. I can't I can't talk with you guys. While I'm doing this because I just no you, you piece of shit alright let's get the hell out of here well here we are good night done it I see you're leaving thanks for stopping by the chat I know it's late out there in Canada and I appreciate it. Oh, my. See? Oh, God. 
All right. Last last Rick. We're down to the last Rick. We can do this. This reminds me of the night that I, uh, PK came to one of my parties and spent the entire party trying to beat Ghouls and Goblins uh, on the Xbox, like the uh, Midway Arcade Classics or whatever, Capcom Arcade Collection. And uh, <clears throat> he finally beat it. And then it has like, it basically makes you replay the whole game. Oh my God, it was horrible. aggressive. I thought I'd found some aggressive moves. All right. Any more continues? No. That is it. You get five continues, and then you're done, son. You're done. Huh. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I could play through that again. I mean, we played for a nice, solid hour. Mostly, I, I talked for like 20 minutes, but this whole game is only about... 20 minutes long if you are good and can beat it unlike me. Um, so I don't know. What does the chat think? Does the chat think I should start again from the beginning? Or, um, you know, have you gotten your fill of Splatterhouse? What do we think? Slide kick jump when walking left or right. Then push the joystick down into the southwest or southeast directions. Hmm. Should I try it with the new slide? Should I try it with the new slide kick? You know, what do we think? All right, we're gonna do. We're gonna try it out. All right. So, all right, let's press run. Okay, we're starting it up. There's the sweet house. Everybody can see it in the uh, stream window here. Um, the West Mansion, of course, where my arch nemesis, the flying chair. Uh, yeah, PK told me that he was he had a um, another appointment scheduled for eight o'clock, so he was only going to be in the first half. So, what are you going to do? He squeezed me in, you know. All right, so slide kick is a kick jump while walking left or right, then push the joystick down. So, okay. Kick jump, okay. Kick jump is like that. Okay, we got, got that part. Is it both? No. It's, uh, okay, yeah, there we go. You grab the thing. Oh, right, you know what? Hold on. Hold on a sec. What about this, you guys? You guys are going to like this. Uh, let me see if I can bring up the operations guide. That's pretty cool, huh? An operations guide? Beloved Jennifer, no. Aha. Uh -huh. Tapping, tapping. It says, it's kind of hard to see in the stream, but it basically says to tap the plus button down when you're and then mid jump to press the kick button just before you hit the ground so let's give it a try what do you think 
Man, that, that looks really bad. I'm, I must still have the brightness cranked up from when I was playing uh, Res Evil. So we're gonna we're jumping. Aha! So you go you jump, press down, and right before you hit the ground, you can just slide. Look at that. Well that's pretty cool. You know? Might take me a little while to perfect that move, but uh you know. Let's uh Start at the beginning. So you jump. While you're in the air, you press down on the D-pad. And then just before you hit the ground, you press the the number one button, which I think is the kick button again, I think. It's actually the jump button. I don't know. I'll do it before any enemies show up. I wish there was like a practice mode. Oh, no, it is the kick button. So the, this is the kick button or the punch button when you're on the ground. So you jump, press down, and kick right before you hit the ground. There we go. You have to have some forward momentum to do it. So you're running, jump. Oh, you gotta go right before you hit the ground. Okay. I want to do it there because that guy's puking. God, puke. Got that guy. Dun, 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 dun. Bat. Bat! Not going to give me bats. That one almost got me. You know, the other thing that these backgrounds look kind of like is the uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom game where you had to rescue the children from cages. Anybody remember that game? That's another game from my childhood, you know? Get, the, get out of here before the head comes back. Okay, we got out of there. Knock that guy's hat off. Oh, God. Here we go. Okay. What? That guy... <sighs> Carnivito. One more guy. Come here. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Stage two. Remember stage two, everybody? This is where the green zombies show up. <laughs> I wonder if that guy's puke can hurt me. Probably, huh? I like my favorite thing is how you whack them back into the wall. It's pretty fun. And why do they put that wrench here? Like I've already got a perfectly good whacking stick, you know? Come here. Whack, whack, whack. They just look so surprised to be knocked back up against the wall, you know? Like they weren't expecting that. Whack. Whack and stick, whack and stick, whack and stick, whack and stick, whack and stick. Oh boy, we're going to do some water jumping. There we go, everybody. My favorite, water jumping. You thought this was the part I was the worst at until you saw me trying to play the church part. Okay, we can do it. We can do this. Okay, 
bada bing bada boom. Whack those two guys. Love whacking guys, you know? Music slightly speeds up, you know? Very tense, the music, you know? Okay, this is a well, this is a classic stand in the corner boss fight, you know. That we all know and love. Don't get hit by any of the falling crap. And then we're gonna fight my arch nemesis, the chair. Oh, oh my god, chair! God. I got that chair. I'm never going to get out of the, the pantry of doom here, you know? I love, I love the, just the, the music here is so good. Okay, we're going to take care of this chair, you know? Oh, come on. Where did it go? What the fuck? these stupid things. Okay. Come on. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Shit. gonna happen you know I really thought I had this 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 level dialed in no problem you know but instead this freaking chair is getting to me I feel like I, I beat this chair a lot easier the first time around it must just be my nerves are shattered after the experience in the, in the fifth level or whatever Take that knife. No, knife. sound is so good whatever that sound is of the scary ghost Ooh. okay time for chainsaw hands again you know when I play these games, there's always violence against animals. I mean, it's a zombie animal, but... You were not getting grabbed. Haha! -ha. Didn't get us that time. Are you... S -s Slime spit guy got me? And now I got to go back to the beginning? Okay. All right. Don't worry, everybody. We're just going to we're gonna, we're gonna do this. Hey, did you see how the dog stopped to eat the guy, the meat of the guy? Look at that. That's kind of interesting. Maybe you don't need to kill them after all. Ah. Yeah. Now more jumping over stupid things. Come 
Got you. No. <sighs> Bye. you're supposed to do rick all right i hear this is gonna be the boss fight with the chainsaw guy oh my god he's jumping now stop poking me That's how you're supposed to do this part. Just so everybody knows, that's a textbook execution of this part of the level. Pick this thing up, throw this thing, bam. Just fastball it right in. Now we're gonna take out this guy, easy breezy. Bam, 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 bam. Take it. You gotta take a hit. You know? You got to take a hit. That's the only way to do it. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to slide, and I really All right, we're gonna we're gonna try it, you know. I can't I can't make any promises. You know, we've all seen how I do at this level, you know. Well, I took one out before I fell down the hole. Oh, gee. Here we go. slide kick reliably yet. Bat alive, what can get me? Jump now. Okay, jump now. Nope, jump now. Nope. <laughs> oh, God, I hate this. No, come on, you fucker. coming.
I did not successfully slide kick him once. All right, back to the Mad Balls. Anybody in chat remember Mad Balls? Am I crazy? I don't know. I feel like I feel like Herman, you know, in, in Texas, they the Mad Balls were probably pretty big, you know. That and like Big Johnson T-shirts, you know. You know, you go out to a Stros game, you get a special Houston Astros Mad Ball. That had to have been a thing. I do not understand the parabolas of this thing, and I wish you could just load right into this level. So you could practice, you know? Isn't that what everybody uh, would want to do? I don't know. All right. Here we go again. Fishman level. saving me from falling down the hole. Yeah, like the way they walk down out of that room, that is just totally rolling thunder for sure. The way they kind of come towards the camera and they're like freaking out a little bit. used harpoons. Let's get to the church with two guys, okay? Like, can we please do that? No, of course not. Grrr! Mother Puss Bucket. He knows I know the slide move now. He knows it. All right, I need to take a drink of water here. Kick that baby! Hitboxes are, I'm going to say they're a little loose, you know? I think sometimes things are not hitting me, or they are hitting me, and it's not always obvious. Because, you know, Rick's a big old hunk of a man. Say dang. Got that one. Got that dude before he could get me. Got that guy.
Sai. You know? All right, three more credits. You know? Here we go. Die. All right, you die. You. Did I miss that guy? Yes, I did. I kill that guy. No, he came back? Come on, I gotta kill this baby thing. Damn, fists of fury over here. Past this deadly device. That was close. That bat really comes out of nowhere, you know? Let's get to the Hall of Mirrors already. Come on, we can do it. We can do this. <sighs> nah. Can you guys believe how many seasons of Modern Family there's been? I can't believe that. I saw on Twitter today that's like this big, you know, emotional finale. And I was like, God, that show is still on TV. That's crazy. You know, what a life. What a good deal those people all had, you know. And old what's his name, Ed, what's his name, you know. Him most of all, two hit series. Dang. Such a deal. Oh, come on. <laughs> you <sighs> okay, whatever. Now, the other thing about this is that you're in this hall of mirrors and you go to like a church. What kind of house is this that has a hall of mirrors and then a church, you know? I don't know. I'll tell you what, I don't know what kind of house it is. You know, but I'd want to live there, that's for sure. All right. Punch that, punch that mad ball right in that big, ugly face. I really gotta watch a uh, playthrough of like what you're supposed to be doing here. Well, maybe that's it. You walk back and forth, and you like. Uh, what do you think about that? It's a little faster now. Oh, I didn't even... Well, that was the best I've ever done, everybody. I got it down to one head. One mad ball was left. Incidentally, this is the only place that a cleaver appears in this game. And in the arcade game, it was your primary weapon throughout most of the levels. So why did they think it was okay to have a cleaver on the church level? I don't know. I don't work in Namco, you know? Oh, come on. Let's get over here. Let's take out a few of these heads. Come on, I ducked. Oh, come on! That's cheap. That's cheap, too. Weak. Oh. 
Rob Smash, thanks for uh, coming in. Enjoy the Star Trek. Um, what do we got here? What, what what's, what's the time looking like? An hour thirty-two. All right, we can play. We can play. We got two more credits. We'll play t- two more times. We're gonna get through this church. Uh, okay. Terror sperms are coming for me. No. I'll abstain, I promise. Ow. Oh god, this guy's got me twice. I think I'm getting tired, everybody. <laughs> I didn't even need to do that, I just did. Here comes the bat, okay, punching the bat, okay. Got another bat, okay, punching the other bat. This is the one I need to jump over twice. I made that much harder for myself than it needed to be. <laughs> Never going to get to the, uh, you know, the Evo championships if I keep playing like this. You know? Representing... America in the middle-aged bracket of the uh, Splatterhouse Championships. God, what the f- Hall of Mirrors time, everyone. Jump now. No, too late. Jump now. Too early. Jump about that. <sighs> this blue this blue masked guy, you know? What's his deal? Why can't he just leave well enough alone? You know, okay, so this remind and I I can't talk and do this at the same time, but uh you know, the concept of a villain in a video game that is basically a, a, a shadow version of you or a dark version of you, that's a pretty popular trope in video games. You know, like you'd see it in Legend of Zelda, Darksiders, which is also a Legend of Zelda ripoff. But there's lots of games that have like you fighting a character, which is basically a character with all of your moves. And, um, you know, this game is no exception, no exception to that. And the idea of like a mirror world or a world like our own that comes to life, you know, it's kind of like what's going on in like Silent Hill and stuff like that. So, you know, some early uh, experiments with that. And I think when they re-released Splatterhouse in like 2011 or 2010, there was some stuff like that in that game too of like sort of like a, a evil version of yourself like either chasing you around or that you would fight at a certain point, but, uh, you know, definitely a thing. Silent Hill 3 has it, like the final or the second to last boss is uh, a dark version of your character on a carousel, something, you know, God, God, what? Uh, okay, last credit, everybody. This is it. This is where we're going to do it. <laughs> oh, 
Should have just jumped right in the hole. Should have just gone straight for the hole, you know? No, please stay away. Stay away from me. Oh, look, they're a lot easier to beat than I think, but I just don't, don't want to take the chance. I need all those hearts for the mirror room, you know? Oh, okay. Dank hole, just like in uh, Silent Hill 4. Alright, one heart. Not doing, you know. I appreciate everybody's uh, words of encouragement here, you know, but uh, sometimes you're your own worst enemy, you know. It's a good lesson for the kids, you know. Nobody's harder on you than you. You know, you just got to believe in yourself. That's all. Everybody's working hard. You're doing the best you can, you know? And you're a hero to somebody somewhere. Just remember that, you know? You should feel good about yourself because you're a beautiful person. And there's nobody in the world exactly like you, you know? That's what Mr. Rogers said, and he was right. Ah. Oh. Get these these situated a little bit better here. Okay. Oh, that's a good point, Doctor and Jekyll and Mister Hyde. That is a very, very good example. Oh. the doppelganger. I just want to do it to him once. See, that's not like I, I went right through him, you know? Like, I don't think, I, I think he only hurts you if he punches you. Or kicks you like that. <laughs> yeah, he does look like he's like he's late for the his hospital shift. Or he's like a vet. He's pretty jacked though, you know? Like he's probably like a steroid doctor for like muscle bodybuilder types, you know? back there, dude. Oh, now you're going to do a jump kick? Cheap. Very, very cheap. Oh, God. Not paying attention. Didn't even make it to the church that time. Yeah. Well, there you go. That is the classic Namco slash em up uh, Splatterhouse. Of course, this genre, this like side scrolling or belt scrolling brawler was extremely popular at this time. The arcades were full of all kinds of games like Double Dragon and Final Fight and stuff like that. But this one was one of the few that had a real horror bent. You know, there were some that were like Dungeons and Dragons. There were some, obviously, like Contra that were sort of like uh, gun-based. But this one was really unique. And I think, especially for a home console game, it's incredibly unique. You just don't see anything like this, especially not at that time that it came out. And so I really wanted to share it with all of you because my goal with the Corn stream is to spend a couple of hours with everybody and share a game that I like, a, a game that you're probably not going to see as much of on the internet, so not like Mario 1 or Sonic the Hedgehog or something like that, but something that's a little less often seen. Um, so I will most likely be back uh, Friday night, uh, probably at 7 
And I'm thinking about doing something on the weekends too, a little bit earlier. So some of my friends on the East Coast can uh, tune in because I have some feedback that I've received is that um, it's a little too late on the West Coast time that I'm doing it. But uh, that's just when I can do it when I'm not working. So uh, thank you all so much for coming in. I uh, I love doing this. I, I'm like having a blast. And please tell your friends, tell anybody that you think might be interested in this. I'd really like to make this a regular thing and, and build up like a little uh, community and um, see where we can take it from here. So um, once again, thanks so much for uh, showing up and being here for the stream. And uh have a nice Wednesday night. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Um, yeah, just thanks a lot and have a good night and we'll see you soon. If anybody has any specific games that they might want me to, to do, let me know. I'm, I'm thinking about um, maybe playing some Military Madness, which is another TurboGrafx-16 game that I have on the Wii. Um, maybe playing... Uh, something on uh, Game Boy, like uh, I have a bunch of Game Boy streamers, so I might do something like the uh, Treasure Astro Boy game or something like that. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Something that's like rare. But uh, if you have any suggestions, just put them in the chat or um, maybe tweet at me. I'm at uh, T underscore Ryan underscore Arnold on Twitter or I'm Technohead on Instagram, or obviously here on the channel on Twitch. You can get at me that way. And um, I'll be happy to try to work something in for everybody. So, yes, Castlevania, I see that. I, I want to do Castlevania as well. So most likely that's going to be the Friday stream is going to be Super Castlevania 4. Hopefully uh, I can do a little bit better at it than I did at this game tonight. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. But... Again, thank you, everybody. I had a great time, and we'll see you soon. Have a good night, and stay healthy and happy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.